Hello, my beautiful badges, messy coder, back again with another asset store review. This time, it's the Elemental Dragon from Malva's Animations. With over 120 animations, this dragon is a great addition to the dragon family that Malva's has brought you with. Oval, the Wyvern, Unka the Dragon, and now you've got the amazing Elemental Dragons. You've got fire, water, load of other lovely elemental in the tone, poly art, and realistic style. In this pack, you can even change the shape and colour and all of the extensions you get on these lovely looking dragons. You can change the knobbly bits that you want and make them whatever weird elemental dragon that you just so desire. So sit back, enjoy, and I'll see you all in a moment. Here I am inside Unity. I've imported in Malba's Elemental Dragons and the first thing I want to show you is that we've got some eggs. You've got different styles of eggs. You've got cartoony eggs and these ones are called realistic eggs. So you can see here these are the realistic ones and these ones are the toon ones. To be honest, I'm not really sure how these are realistic ones and these are toon. They both look a bit cartoony to me but there you go. That's just my opinion. They do have animations with them. Uh, I have to say animations are a little bit odd um, in how they're named. If we go over, we'll see that we've got eggs hatching realistic and eggs hatching. Now, if you, oddly, if we go over and we have a look at eggs hatching realistic, and if we click over here to egg cracking, uh, and I go over to egg cracking here, click play, and it just explodes. I'm not too sure how that's realistic. Uh, call me foolish. I don't know. And if we go over to... Um, the other one where if we click on this one egg hatching and we go to egg crack and click on that and go here to project to find it and we click that one a little bit more subtle so I'm gonna say I, I would have thought the realistic is like you know a little bit crack here a little bit crack there and then the dragon comes out but no it just exploits uh, so the realistic one is an explosion and the non-realistic one is a subtle little crack open. Really bizarre. But nevertheless, I really love the fact that we get these eggs. So uh, I think these eggs are a nice little addition, a little gift. A <laughs> little Easter egg, you could call it. Ah, and again, another little Easter egg is that you get the elemental animal controller, but you do need to have the animal controller from Malware's. And if you do click it, you click on this link and it takes you to the store with his affiliate link thrown in. Cheeky. Sneak. You got that one by me. Seeing as I like to take all your affiliate money, that one, that one tricked me. But nevertheless, you got to give him extra, extra couple of quid his way because he deserves it with his amazing assets. Uh, so if you do have the animal controller, which used to be free, but now it's about 30 bucks on the asset store, uh, you can put that in and then you can control your dragons with the animal controller. Animal controller is great because you can put any model into it. And not just Malba stuff, and you can control them. I'm going to do a video on that later on, another day. But for now, we're playing about with the dragon. So we're going to go over to Elemental Dragon, um, click on here, base demo. Should I save this? Uh, you know what? I'll save the changes. And if we click play here, do 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 do, you're just going to get this little view. Now, if I just throw in, where's the camera? Cam. Uh, and we've got here, use transforms Elemental Dragon realistic. Where's that? You got a camera script on there? Okay. Uh, I'm just going to make that big. Uh, the kids are making a load of noise, I have to say. Why is that not. Here we go. That's better. So, we've moved into a new place and I can't lock them away in the lounge with a door to make it a little bit more soundproof. So, the downstairs is now all open plan. So, as I'm sitting here making videos, you can just hear them screaming and shouting playing Lego World. Well, not Lego World, they're playing Lego Marvel. Um, here we go, look at that. Oh, there you go. So the an animation for this is that you need to stick that uh, controller, that uh, fly cam on because it's got the animation script, it's actually flipping between them. Oh, there we go, so we can see them. As you can see, lovely set of animations that you're going to get, like over 120 animations, and as always, Melbourne's animations are amazing. I was about to say that there's always something going on uh, to do, so you like the head will be moving like the tail and, and the leg or something will be moving as well so you just get that feeling 
Like there's always realistic movement. It's what bad animators would just focus on one thing. Oh, this is the animation for the head moving, and then move nothing else. Marvels doesn't do that. I love, I love Marvels stuff. Uh, here we go. We've got different gliding animations throwing in there as well. And roaring. You can have bright ring fire. Uh, not. We've, um, when you've got the uh, controller in and you click the button, there was always the uh, with the unka, it was, it was breathing fire, uh, and they had those particle effects in there. Not too sure if we're going to have any flaming particle effects in this pack. We will we will see. We'll see together. We'll experiment, find out. But as always, I'm going to say, you know, is this worth a punt? Well, yes, because uh, if you already have some of Malba's dragons, I think this is a great addition to the pack. Not only that, because you go, oh, look at these dragons, everyone would have the same looking dragons. No, because you can actually customise your dragons as well. And the little preview video that Malbus gives you on his YouTube channel shows you how to do it. But we will have a quick play. We'll see together how easy it is. If I can, just chuck it in and customise them. You know what? Let's let's stop this stop playing mode now. Let's stop playing mode and grab a dragon. So let's grab a dragon. Let's grab this one. This cutie cutie little dragon tune small this little cute little sausage and we're gonna see where did he have all the customization and stuff to play about with or should I have got here all the different colors as well so can I oh look I can I just start changing the colors straight away on this material oh, that's pretty funky um, and if I open up here, apparently all the bones are shapeable. Let's have, let's have a look. So, why would I make his toe? Why would I make his toe massive? Uh, I don't know, it's scalable. You can. I can. He's got. Ma he's got one massive toe. It's called backclaw. So if I if I wanted to, he could get away with that. So let's have a look. At the um, how about the eyeball. So there's the eyes. And can we can we scale that eye? Because in the video it looked like he was he was doing that. Which one have I got? Got that one there. Move him. I oh, know wrong thing. What am I? Should be looking at. Okay, no, that's the two knives. We need the uh, tail, head, spine. Here it is. It's going on the wrong thing. Spine, neck, 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 neck. How many necks has he got? Head. There we go. Right eye, left eye. So, if we, oh, here we go. That's more like it. So we can move this thing around. My word, you can hear screaming their heads off down there. So you can customize it like this. You know, with a, with a sh scalable bones. One, he's got one small eye. And you know what? It can actually go really crazy. Let's. I wonder if I can rotate. Oh, I can. Should we? Are we allowed to do that? Would he go mental? I don't know. Um, Oh, look at that! Squinty. So he's got one. He's been poked. He's got one big eye, and he's been poked in that eye for some bizarre reason. That's that's why I've decided to go. But it shows how customizable he is. So what about with all the little add-ons? Where do they live? Aha! Uh -huh. I found out where they are. It's they're hiding inside the animal controller kit. So I've imported that in, and now I can add material changer in. So there you go. Aha! Uh -huh. And I've found it inside the animal controller. I'm not sure if the script should be part of the elemental dragons because the video makes it look like they are, but I only had the scripts appear to me after I imported in the animal controller asset from the asset store. So that is bizarre. So basically what I've done here, I've just dragged in this head cap here from the model folder horns and we've got here head caps and we've got here L horns. Those, those look pretty fierce as well. Look at that. Look at that one. If you open that up, you can see you've got this one. Uh, we've got this one. And we've got this one. Makes it look like a uh, like, like dinosaur, doesn't it? Uh, and we've got this freaky one here. There. Uh, and they shove them all together. They look really. They look really amazing when you put them all together like that they look great it looks even better actually my my, my opinion stick them all together they look really scary so i've dragged it in put the textures on them uh, and and there they are 
So now if we go over to Dragon Realistic Small and I can click on this and say Material Changer. So I can add in the Material Changer script and then you click on Play and I'm going to change this one, let's call this one Body. And if I select on the body, it's actually very, reminds me a lot of when I was making Messi's Ultimate Character uh, Creator. So uh, how you could customize it that way. Well, this is always with Malware's, takes it 10 steps ahead and it makes a really nice, easy to use interface. So I go over here and I choose how many different materials, let's say three, three different materials. If I go into the materials folder uh, and go over to the realistic, I'm just going to throw in different bodies. I'll put the lava body as the first one and put the crystal body as a second one and I put here the rock body as the third one okay now if I pop back over to here and I've got, got to put a mesh on there so if we say do 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 elemental body that's our mesh beautiful it's got a skinned mesh renderer on there and now if I click on it you'll see that it's swapping them around the wings have stayed the same because I haven't added in a mesh changer for the wings mesh just for the body and it just toggles between these three lovely now what about this little head piece well if I go over here and I say uh, what was the other one active meshes that was it active meshes very similar I go here I'm gonna say uh, head caps Brilliant. and if I select head caps open that up and I'm gonna click and say that it's gonna be what the four of them and we drag those over into each one make sure you're dragging it from your scene and in they go and it wants to know um, who they are so I, I go out click but here they can when I do it we can have an event always nice to have events on things I'm very much the same and if I click now or we'll toggle through you'll see that they change brilliant fantastic stuff now suddenly our dinosaur or our dinosaurs our dragons are looking very different but that's not all if I now let's minimize that and we add another one blend shapes a blend shape script I could if I just go over here randomize you see how it's randomizing changing the shape of it now remember that we can still customize with our shapeable uh, bones ourselves but we could just use this and his leg, his back leg. Let's uh, make the change the head shape. And what about the chest? There we go. Chest in and out. Body fat. Oh, make him nice and thin. A nice skinny one. Um, really. Oh wow, it's super skinny. So you can customize this thing to make it really unique if you want. Right, I've got the animal controller in and I've also imported in the animal controller demo that you get by this elemental AC and I go over here to elemental AC folder and inside I've got some demos. I've loaded up the elemental demo sim. We have also changed the input uh, on Unity so I've gone up down because without that I've got problems. So if we go in first of all and I run around like always with Malpas we've got all these lovely little events here. Click E. You can roar, see his lovely roar animation. That one over there decided to have a sleep. Why go over there? And I go and have a sleep. Now the volume is really loud, so when I'm doing this video, I'm gonna have to tweak this, the audio settings so you can't hear it all. So but for me, it's all this loud scratching, annoying scratchiness, which is really getting in my work. So if I now jump, I can jump, I can do Q to fly. There we go. Off we go, taking off. Uh, go down. A little bit sharp on the transitions. Uh, how, do I, how do I go down? S C to go down. C to go down. Is it C? Come on. That's not really doing. Why is that not doing anything? Here we go. That's more like it. And right click to, to kick. Push, left click to shoot, pull down shift, and I can do my flames. Oh, the other cool thing about Malpas is that if I go to the editor, the menu at the top, I can actually convert these to be HDRP or URP if I want. So that's pretty cool. Um, okay, let's turn off the fly. Oh, and I'll show you where I died because I went into the depth zone. 
death zone. But what do I think of the Malba's uh, elemental dragon? I think they're beautiful. I think the textures are great. Uh, it's, it, if you've used these other dragons, you, you're pretty much getting exactly what you've had in the other ones. So um, I'm not too sure how, what different the animations are for these dragons compared to Unka's animations, to be honest. Um, the, the, are going to be somewhat different. I'm going to I'm going to assume, but I haven't sat there and, and analysed and, and compared them all. All I say is that they they look lovely, a nice little customizations. A little bit annoyed that um, you need the animal controller to have those customization scripts, but you can just reshape them and move the bones around yourself without needing it. Um, and you can just drag in any of these little add-ons you want and change the the, the meshes and materials yourself if you wanted. Those scripts, nice little uh, cheaty ways of making it easier for you. Uh, we've got other uh, little demo scenes which is the same as you get with the, the other demo scenes that you get from, from ours when you import in the animal controller. I would say if I do the point and click don't forget go over here to the navigation and don't forget to bake. So without waking you're not going to actually do anything. Everything's all nice and blue if I click play. Da, 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 and now I can Go around and click and go to sleep and wake him up and go here and roar. Actually, go here and roar. Whoa! So it's on sale yeah, until the 23rd of August. Um, otherwise, you're going to pick it up full price. So you can get it for $24.99 in dollars, one cent shy of $25, or it's 50 bucks full price over. On the asset store. Now we've got some reviews here. We've got one star. It says I can't find the help. I can't find the scripts. Help! I can't find the controllers. Please help. Uh, and that's because you need the animal controller, which is separate, as he told you here. So um, that I would say a little bit misleading in his in his video because it looks like those scripts are included for the customization. It's very clear. It states here that you do need the animal controller. Uh, if you want to have a controller, you get the animations for uh, with it, but you would need a character controller of your own or you need his animal controller. I would advise and suggest go and get his animal controller. It's great. It used to be free when it first came out because it was uh, in beta and people were getting it and testing it. Now it's 30 bucks. Is it worth 30 bucks? I think so. I think it's a great animal controller and you can use it with, with anything. It doesn't have to be just with his animals. And also if you've got Horse Animal Set Pro, you've already got his animal controller and most of you Old school people have already already got Horse Animaset Pro, so congratulations if you have. Uh, and that's that. It that is the uh, Elemental Dragon from Mapper's Animations. Do I like it? Yes, I do. Is it groundbreaking? Well, I don't think it's anything drastically different from the other dragons, but it is a nice new set of customizations and different looking dragons to go with that dragon family. So if you've already started with Malva's dragons, I would suggest pick these up. They fit in beautifully with the rest of your dragons. And you do get a polygon style, you get a cartoony style and a realistic style. These are realistic, not like um, realistic in, in the sense that um, the... PBR, um, Infinity PBR's dragons are, are really like movie looking realistic. They're still cartoony, fun looking dragons, I have to say. So, uh, realism in that sense. I would say PBR rather than um, you know, realistic looking. But there you go. You can have them in HDRP. If I go over here, Tools, Melbourne's Animation, Upgrade Shaders to URP or HRP, which is fantastic. So, if you do like these videos, want to see more, click on a big juicy red subscribe button down below. Tell all your friends, random people in the street, that Messi's playing some dragons. If you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.